Hello there guys, welcome to Luna's World, Wayne here. And as you can see, we've got this beautiful, beautiful product in front of us. This is the Bruna CLSE force feedback yoke by a Swiss company called Bruna. Um, as many of you already know, they very kindly sent this out for me to do a review. Um, my time is running out with this. I've actually had this for about five weeks now. They're gonna ask for it back very soon and it's gonna be a very, very sad day. Um, in short, what this video is about, it's reviewing this, but it's really trying to put in words what it's like to use this, because that's really what it is. Let's get one thing out of the way. This thing is expensive, okay? In terms of, you know, just splashing out on a new bit of uh, flight simming um, hardware, okay? This is not really the kind of thing you just splash out on or you just kind of give it, give it a try. This is a real investment into pulling in the outside experience of flying a plane into your home cockpit. And that's really what this thing is. So yes, it's expensive, but really when you, when you figure out what this thing really does to your experience at home, it's well worth the money, okay? Um, but, you know, like I said, this isn't a $300 yoke. Um, at the moment, you're looking uh, just shy of 2,000 euros. So pricey but this thing is like i'm like i've said we're going to get into what this thing really does it's very very hard to put into words uh the physical experience that you have with this thing but let me try and do this from the perspective of getting inside a 172 okay on uh at a gate somewhere or not a gate a stand and taxiing out to the runway i'll try and describe what the experience is okay so You've done all your pre-flight checks, you, you've the flight plan or whatever, you, you say you're doing circuits. So that's all fine, that's all done. You're ready to start the engine. So you've got your, maybe you've got the hand, your hand on the yoke, I don't know. You're starting the engine, you feel the engine starting up through the yoke, okay? So you're, you've warmed up, you're ready to go, you're ready to taxi out. You feel every single bump in the taxiways uh, whether it's uh, uh, cracks, whether it's lights, whether it's, you know, actual dents in the taxiway, you feel that through the yoke, okay? And you can set the level of adjustments of how much you want to feel that or not, because obviously uh, you're really going to feel that in a small aircraft. Maybe you're not going to feel it in a, an A380, you know, or something bigger. Um, so you go up to the... Uh, the run-up area, you do your run-ups, of course, as you as you accelerate the throttles, you're gonna feel that vibration through the yoke, okay? You've done that, you go to the holding point, you get your clearance, you're on the runway, you take off, you, you go down the runway, your throttles are pretty much, at, you know, take off max power, you really feel that, okay? Now, before any of that happens, if you move the yoke, you're gonna have a very loose feeling uh, kind of yoke to start with in a 172. Again, this is fully, fully customizable. If you want to fly or 737, then when you're sitting at the runway in a 737, you can program this to be automatically heavier to replicate the heaviness of a 737 yoke versus a 172, for example. So that's all down to the software. You can change all that. So again, we're in a 172. Let's go back to that. You've got floppy kind of a feeling, if that makes sense, you know, uh, uh, um, a very loose feeling because there's no pressures on the control surfaces. As you start to take off, as you start to go down the runway, you build up speed, the friction over the wings and the elevators becomes more greater. And so again, you feel that. At your rotation point, you take, you pull back, you feel the resistance of the wind against the wings, creating the lift. You feel that, you take off, you're airborne, you have a positive rate, um, gear up, obviously not in a 172, but you feel that, you feel the, the gear being retracted up into the undercarriage. Um, you start then to feel the pressures of the wind, depending on the direction, but um, crosswinds, you know, any kind of um, uh, turbulence, you feel that immediately you are airborne, if there is any, you know, if those conditions are correct. You take off, you level out, throttles come back, you feel all that on the yoke. You know, it's it's a really interactive, like I said, you're bringing the outside world into your flight simming experience, okay? This is not like a butt kicker. This is not like a force feedback yoke from Microsoft circa, you know, 15 years ago. This is 
the detail, the the uh, the fidelity of the uh, the movement, the experience. The, this is not just vibration. This is movement. It's friction. It's um, tension. It's release. It's all of that stuff rolled into one. I would love to see what's inside this box. I don't. Well, I can't even open it, and I wouldn't open it, of course. But um, I would love to see how this thing works. Uh, if you go to their website, Bruna, actually, you'll see that they do absolutely incredible things, not just for flight sim gear, but across lots of different areas of engineering. Completely brilliant, brilliant company. Check it out. It's really interesting. So anyway, we've leveled off. We do a turn. Okay, you feel the pull on the turn, depending on what the wind is doing and, you know, all that kind of stuff. You feel all of that. If you want to do the same thing in a 737, you can set that up. If you want to do the same thing in a, an A380, you can adjust all of these things down to the finest detail. You, you're actually going to see me using the software, taking you through the software, showing you with the power, really, of the software. Um, how the software talks to this hardware and does what it does is just magical. Nothing short of magical. Um, the software is free. The other force feedback yoke that's on the market you actually have to pay for the software. Um, this comes with the software. It's incredible, totally incredible. It will change the way you fly. Your experience will be elevated a thousandfold. And I'm not exaggerating. For the record, I'm not being paid to say this. I'm not keeping the yoke. I do have to send this back. Um, so this is not a sponsored video at all. This is a very, very independent um, review. I'm in love with this thing. I do not want to send it back. It's going to be a horrible day, me boxing this up and sending it back. Um, it's going to be terrible. It really, truly is. I'm going to have to go back to a, a, an inferior yoke, you know, unless I can find quite a bit of cash. Um, as, as many of you know, I'm building a PC right now, so a lot of the money has gone into that. I wish I hadn't have made that decision. I wish I just brought this. To be perfectly, perfectly honest, but it was too late. By the time I got this, I'd already made some purchases to, to build that new new build. Anyway, when I do have the funds, I will be getting this without a shadow of a doubt. And and I'm going to try and make that happen sooner rather than later. Um, because it's going to be so hard to go back. It really is. It really is depressing. Anyway, guys, I hope that has helped in some way to try and translate what you experience with this right here um, through your home simulator. Whether you run prepared FSX or X-Plane, this works with all of them. Um, and you get the same level of experience with all of them. Well, I say that. I've tried it in prepared. I haven't tried it in um, FSX. And obviously, I've tried it in X-Plane. The experience is still the same, no matter what platform you use. So again, the magic of how they make that work with your simulator of choice is pretty pretty incredible um, as you can see this this board here doesn't come with the yoke this is just so that i can secure this to my desk um, it's a beautiful thing it's this beautiful silvery brushed aluminum uh, finish it's stunning i love it ah one thing actually this is probably my only complaint and it's not really that big of a deal for me but it doesn't have a hat switch okay so if you, if you want to look around, if you don't have track IR and you want to look around your cockpit, you can't do it on the yoke. Um, I, luckily for me, I've got an X45 with two hat switches on right by my left side. So that's what I do. It's not a problem for me, but it's something to be aware of. Uh, you might have to buy another controller to do your, your views inside. It's totally worth it. Do it. If you've got the money, buy this thing now. It will change the way you fly. You will love me forever and you'll love Bruna even more. So thanks guys, and let's go over to the PC and I'll show you this thing working and we'll have a look at the software as well.
Right guys, so I'm going to show you the software that comes with the Bruner Yoke. Let me just drag this over. Here it is, it's called the uh, CLS to Sim, and it's kind of a bridge between the, the yoke itself and your simulator, but there's a bunch of other cool stuff that you can do in here. It's worth noting that once you've installed this, you need to install the plugins, which is in the inst installation folder, for your desired simulator. So that took me a while to work out, and I couldn't find any instructions on that. So uh, just be aware of that. Don't click on connect straight away. Go up to settings and then um, here is the three different uh, choices of how to connect the yoke to your PC. Most people I think would use the USB. Um, and then here is where you you select which simulator you want to use. So obviously for me it's X-Plane. And then um, you can also start the sim when this program starts. I don't tend to do that. That's all I do there. Then you click on connect and then you can initialize the yoke. Um, it will initialize every time you apply power to it. So if you unplug it and plug it in again, it will go through its uh, testing, um, the calibration and all that sort of thing. So let's just pop into Profile Manager because this is where the real magic happens. So the right side is Profiles where I can create um, a profile. You will have this default profile already in. So this is where you can configure lots of different um, settings here for the yoke. So if we just go through each one. So yoke physics. Yoke is pulled forward by the elevator weight. So this is all to do with the type of aircraft that you're flying. And again, it's all very, very customizable. So the pull force I've got on the default is actually 100%, but that should be less. Um, 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 I'm going to just set the default values, guys. And then you'll see what it's actually set for. So yeah, so 40% of pull force. Speed at which the yoke starts to be affected by aerodynamic forces. So 15 knots and above is when you start to feel the effects of the air moving ac uh, across the airframe. Speed at which the yoke gets pushed to the middle position by aerodynamic forces. So that's obviously a bit quicker. Um, and all these figures would change depending on what kind of aircraft you want. And you're going to need to fiddle around with this and get it set, you know, for how you like it. Let's move on to the next box here. So motor vibration. So again, that's the amount that the stick or the yoke will vibrate um, with regards to the motor. Now, you might think a jet would vibrate more than, say, a 172. But if you think about it, the front of the aircraft, the prop is closer, the engine is closer to the yoke um, in, in a, a, say, a 172 than it is in a 737. So for a 172, you might have this force up um, quite a bit, and you can set your minimum and maximum frequency there. Um, ground vibrations, again, you know, this is all customizable um, depending on what kind of uh, uh, aircraft you're flying. If you're flying an old aircraft, you might want to kind of have this up at bumpy. If you're flying a kind of sleek jet then you know you might have this down at even and again controlling the force for the yoke as well um, turbulence this should all be enabled by the way so you need to make sure these are all checked um, again very much dependent on the aircraft the airframe but again fully customizable there uh, stick shaker um, again you know it's all it's all here the, the amount of detail that this thing can go into is ri ridiculous and of course if you have the uh the rudder then you get the full effect of uh you know what what it feels like in a stall for example what the rudder does as well very very cool um you can customize the buttons here um to do what you want to do so if i press the buttons you can see them being uh, activated there now you don't customize this at all in x-plane um somehow the bridge just just works with x-plane and it all just works and that is also the same with prepared because i've tried it with pre prepared so don't expect to see this yoke uh, show up in x-plane it's all controlled via this program here so it bypasses that so all the buttons and controls on the yoke itself you set up here. So for, you know, elevator trim, flaps up and down. Um, and then you've got, how many buttons have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six buttons all together, plus the two um, rocker switches. Uh, and like I said, this, this yoke does not have a hat switch. That is 
a slight downside. For me, it's not a problem because I have an X45 uh, uh, just to the right of me, which has two hat switches, which I can use. Um, analog inputs will skip. This is your axis, the, the range axis. So again, you can um, put in dead zones and all that kind of stuff. I haven't really played around with that at all. Um, I haven't really played a, around much with this either. Autopilot, again, I've just left this as it is. Um, enable that. I haven't tried that actually, no idea. Um, don't know what that all does. Trim, now this is useful. So you again, trimming on a 737 is very, very different to a 172. So you can change the amount of uh, effect that it has. Again, don't forget, we're talking about what it feels like on the yoke to trim here. That's what this is concerned with. Um, so very, very cool. And finally, yoke display. You can display whatever values you want here. Um, but uh, I'll show you some uh, little clips of it. But basically, you've got info. So yoke display. Obviously, you can you can customize this to whatever you want to do. You can you can change the uh, contrast. You can put in custom text. You can put your logo. You can do all sorts of really cool stuff if you really want to. Now, um, let's just have a look up here. You can see what's happening to the yoke as I move it, the roll and the pitch there. And um, you can see how much force is being exerted. Um, very, very cool. The amount of the detail in this software is outstanding. It's a really powerful, powerful piece of uh, software. I'm not going to um, go into that. And of course, what you do, sorry, I missed this out, is that you um, you can add profiles, you can change all the stuff. I've got one for the 737 Classic, and I've also got one for the Arabesque um, Pantera. So again, you know, you can just line them up, just go through all your aircraft and set them up individually. Take a bit of time, but once it's done, it's done, and you've got an incredibly uh, accurate um, uh, feel there for each aircraft. And then this just shows you what's active and what isn't active. And it gives you a little ledger. It's actually trying to connect to the sim here, but um, I haven't got X-Plane powered up. So that's why it's connecting and it's not able to find X-Plane. So guys, um, that is an incredible piece of software. Uh, alone, I think the other force feedback yoke that is available on the market charge for their software. Um, you can understand why, because of the complexity involved in it. But with Bruna, you get it as part of the whole deal. So absolutely superb. Um, I hope that's been useful, guys. I hope you've got something out of this review. I just cannot sing its praises enough. If you've got the money, uh, I highly recommend getting one. It will completely change the way uh, you fly. And um, if you do want to go, you know, if you, if you go from simming into the real thing, that transition is going to be a whole lot smoother thanks to the Bruna yoke, because uh, there, it really is nothing like this on the market um, with the same amount of detail and the feel of it. Anyway, I'm starting to ramble a bit. I hope this has been useful, guys. I hope you've uh, enjoyed this review. Happy to answer any questions you might have, um, and I will see you all very soon. Come and join me on a stream, because uh, you'll see this thing in action. I've got a little webcam that shows uh, shows what I'm doing in the cockpit here, as well as uh, obviously the uh, the stream content of X-Plane. So there we go, guys. Thanks a lot for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.